Well, hello there. Welcome to Stats One OCR January 2013 paper. We're looking at question two. Catherine is allowed three attempts at a high jump. If she succeeds on any attempt, she does not jump again. That's a key word. The probability that she succeeds in her first attempt is three quarters. If she fails on her first attempt, the probability that she succeeds on her second attempt is three over eight. Her confidence has been knocked. If she fails on her first two attempts, she's really feeling sorry for herself and the probability she succeeds on a third attempt is three out of 16. Find the probability that she succeeds. Quite a wordy question and all this information can be shown on a nice tree diagram. So this is her first jump. The probability that she uh, succeeds, let's say S for succeeds, is three quarters. That means the probability that she fails must add up to one and be one quarter. For her second jump, she just smiles here and has a sit down if she's done it. If not, she tries again. The probability that she succeeds this time is going to be 3 over 8, as we can see from the question. That means the probability of a failure is 5 over 8 to add up to 1. Now on her third jump, maybe she's tired, maybe she's a bit fed up. She's got to jump again here and she has to do the probability of her success is only 3 over 16. The probability of her failing therefore is 13 over 16. Again, they have to add to 1. So our job is to find the total probability of her succeeding in any way possible. So we could succeed here by straight away. We could succeed here by first failing and then succeeding or here by failing twice and then pulling it out the bag at the end. So our total probability of success okay, is going to be uh, 3 over 4 probability of doing it straight away plus a quarter times 3 over 8 and if you notice that's going down this route plus a quarter times 5 over 8 times 3 over 16 and from the diagram that one is going down this route. If you put all those onto your calculator you're going to get as a fraction 447 over 512 or as a decimal to three significant figures 0.873. So moving on to question two. Khaled is allowed two attempts to pass an exam. If he succeeds on his first attempt he does not make a second attempt. He's already passed. He doesn't have to retake. So let's look at his first attempt. The probability that he succeeds is 0.4. Let's call it, let's just write pass, 0.4. So fail, we can put F, has to be 0.6, doesn't it? Now his second attempt is going to be pass or fail. Now, if we read the question, um, the probability that he passes on either the first or the second is 0.58. So the examiner has been quite clever here and he's left this as unknown, an unknown probability. And that means all we can concur, infer from that is that this is 1 minus p. So two probabilities have to add up to 1. Now, if we look at the routes possible for success, he could pass straight away or he could fail and then pass. Now, what we're told in the question is that these probabilities add up to 0.58. So if we write that down, 0.4 plus 0.6 times p gives us 0.58. Okay, 
Now we have to try and solve this, so we take away 0.4 and we get 0.6p equals 0.18. Divide by 0.6 and we get p equals 0.3. So now on our diagram, we can substitute 0.3 for p and out of interest, this would be 0.7. Let's read the question to see what is required and let's think find the probability he passes on the second attempt given that he failed on the first attempt. Now given is a key word here. Given means we already know it's happened. So we already know he's failed on the first attempt. So we're already on our tree diagram up to here. If it's already happened we don't have to worry about this probability. So, we're standing here on our tree diagram, walking along. We can choose to go this way or this way. This bit is already given. So, the probability that he passes from here is just 0.3. Okay? So, probability equals 0.3. I hope that's helpful. Given that is an important concept in probability, just remember, we know that that's a fact that it's happened. Okay, so we don't have to worry about its probability. Thanks for watching. Please achieve maths. Thank you.